The true Israel will be regathered to the promised land only when Jesus returns to set up his kingdom and not before. The attempt to restore Israel since 1948 is a Zionist movement by Marxist, communist, false Jews who are led by the international banking cabal. The Illuminati by war and bloodshed put Israel back onto the map in 1948 as a vehicle by which to control the kings of the world. How does Israel rule over the kings of the earth? It's the international banking cabal. Besides, genetic testing has shown most Jews are not truly Israelites, but Khazar. But a tribe in Africa proved to have the highest genetic indicators, and they state that they are Hebrews that left Israel around 600 BC. Actually, many Hebrews escaped Israel and fled into Africa. Just check the old slaver maps of the 1700s and you will see areas marked Judah because they knew which areas were the scattered Israelites. Even when Mary and Joseph wanted to hide baby Jesus from Herod, they hid in Egypt. Why? To blend in. Guess what? Egyptians are dark. Listen to this from the book of Acts 21:37. And as Paul was about to be brought into the castle, he said to the colonel, Whether I may say something to thee? And he said, Dost thou know Greek? Art thou not then the Egyptian, who before these days stirred up to sedition and led out into the wilderness the four thousand men of the assassins? But Paul said, I am a Jew. Paul was mistaken for an Egyptian. I highly doubt that it was because he was pasty white. It is also interesting that in Revelation, Jesus is described as having hair like pure wool. That doesn't sound very Caucasian to me. That seems to be a very specific type of hair, doesn't it? Now as far as the rapture goes, that is complete nonsense. There are many ways to kill the false doctrine of the rapture, but for timeliness I will just use the scripture that everyone references about. Two will be there and one will be left, because when it is read in context, yes, in context, it makes more sense. Luke 17, 26. And as it came to pass in the days of Noah, thus shall it also be in the days of the Son of Man. They ate, drank, married, were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed all. Likewise, even as it came past past in the days of Lot, they ate, drank, bought, sold, planted, builded, but on the day Lot went out from Sodom, fire, rain, and brimstone from heaven, and destroyed all. After the same manner shall it be on the day the Son of Man is being revealed. On that day, who shall be on the housetop, and his goods in the house, and let him not go down to take them away, and let him in the field likewise not return back. Remember the wife of Lot, whoever shall seek to gain his life shall lose it. But whoever shall lose his life shall save it alive. I say unto you on that night, two shall be on one bed, the one shall be taken along, and the other shall be left. Two women shall be grinding together, the one shall be taken along, and the other shall be left. And they in answer say to him, Where, Lord? But he said to them, Where the body is, there will the eagles also be gathered together. Get it? Everybody but Noah's family was destroyed. Taken. Taken is bad. Where did Jesus tell the disciples the people were taken to? Where the eagles, or the vultures are. Yeah, dead. So no rapture for me, please. There isn't enough time in this one video to clear up everything, but let me put together the puzzle pieces for you that I have gone over. To have a final realistic decoy of Christ, the Antichrist, everything needs to be copied and distorted. There have been many antichrists that have come through the years, but they have been ultimately prepping the earth for the final antichrist. Jesus was foretold and introduced by the prophet John, so you need a false prophet. Many think that the Pope will be the final in the line of the many antichrists and will be the false prophet. With the marketing that the Pope is doing right now, that seems correct. He is pushing the fact that people don't need Jesus to be saved and a bunch of other complete garbage, so that fits. But the antichrist doesn't really mean opposed to Christ. It means the instead of Christ. So to really pull off a grand deception, the Antichrist also needs a fake Antichrist. Yes, I truly believe it. Now picture this. One, global disasters start. Two, wars start to ensue over in Israel, and Israel bombs Quote, Damascus. 
takes over the Temple Mount and starts building the temple. Two witnesses are faked protecting the rebuilding of the temple. The governments finally put together a new world order worldwide, a government coalition by utilizing the fear-mongering tactic common to people witnessing devastation. Four, people accept the new world order for safety. Five, then the world government elects a leader, probably Muslim, fulfilling their Mahdi prophecies. Six, this leader signs a peace treaty with all nations and the government control of the world leads to famine and death. All of it is blamed on the Jews and Israel. Seven, three and a half years in, he mounts a giant army and overtakes Israel and walks into the new temple and declares himself to be God. Eight, then out of the sky, long-haired, long-bearded Jesus starts descending to earth like an angel of light, probably with a horde of his angelic host. He takes the temple and declares that he is the real Jesus and the world worships him. Of course, what really just happened is that Satan was kicked out of heaven and a third of his angels. Everyone has the image of Zeus in their head as what Jesus looks like. Zeus is Satan. So when Satan is kicked out of the heavenly realm into our physical realm, he will look like what everybody thinks and accepts is Jesus. Coming home to his people, the Jews, into his temple just rebuilt and overcoming the false Antichrist. Now, who wouldn't fall for that? 9. What is worse is that this explains how Satan tricks the armies of the world to gather together and attack the real Jesus, Yahushua, that will come in three and a half years later. Because when Jesus comes back, First off, he will probably look more like Morgan Freeman than Brad Pitt, especially with burdish brown skin and white wool like hair, but he will also look a little frightening in his glory. It states that his eyes are glowing with fire and his white robe is dipped in blood. Satan will have the world so duped into thinking that they have the real Jesus already that when the real one shows up, they will follow the Antichrist into battle against the real Jesus. Now take time, some real time, to read the Bible again. Not the commentary or someone else's cliff notes, but pray. Ask the Father for wisdom in the name of his Son, Jesus, and then read the scripture. Remember, God says that his people fail for lack of knowledge.